and what is good with y'all again this evening this is your boy top dot and we are back with another music monday today we talking about jay-z is he cooning or is he clever y'all as you know jay-z is partnering up with the nfl to uh, go do their halftime show and a few other things he's also is looking at and they're also saying that he's going to be co-owner of a, of a team from in the nfl so you know with all that going on in the kaepernick situation a lot of people out here is heated at jay-z right now me i'm not a jay-z fan but i'm going to just play my bias in there you know i'm gonna go ahead and be biased i'm not gonna be one-sided when it comes to this thing you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take out my dislikes for jay-z as you know period and just put common sense to to concrete so what's happening now is jay has partnered up with the nfl to do a couple of things man and people pissed off at him now understandably everybody wondering what's up with the kaepernick situation me i'm thinking i'm thinking in them two ways jay-z is his own entity cap is his own entity cap got paid off of what happened with him in the nfl and jay-z just ain't got nothing to do with the nfl pre-skip you know pre-time skip but putting all that in a nutshell you got them two people that's their own men you know they got their own business or whatever going on Kaepernick don't owe Jay nothing Jay don't owe Kaepernick nothing you know what I mean so it, it is what it is on that front but a lot of people feel emotionally tied in because of just being being black now understandably Colin Kaepernick y'all he is biracial you know what I mean? He's still a brother, though, but he is biracial. You know what I mean? So it is what it is on that front, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to try to argue them them, or debate them certain topics with, with nobody, but we can. You know, we can. But I'm here to just say, you know, putting myself in those men's shoes, I would say if coming from Callan Kaepernick's aspect I'd be like, okay, understandable. He is, it is what it is. He is who he is. He does what he does. He is on man. All right, cool. It ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? If he was like all huffy puffy chest, he could be like, oh man, you know, dude trampling all over what I'm trying to do for me and like everybody else out here, you know, something like that. I don't think Kaepernick, in my personal opinion, is even thinking like that. What I'm thinking, he's thinking like I said the first time. He's like, hey, it's Jay-Z. He do what he want to. The man's a billionaire. What can you tell him? You know, I'm going to get to that later on, too. But, you know, he's like, he looking at it like, what can I tell him? And in Jay-Z's aspect, he's probably like, listen, I'm trying to do what I got to do, man. The NFL ain't got too good a name with brothers and sisters around the league and around here. So let me try to mend relationships with them by going ahead and partner up with them and doing something to show them like yo the NFL is just a whole bunch of your slave boy owners you know what I'm saying so I guess in that aspect he's probably putting his best foot forward in researching you know what I'm saying what he was doing and I'm pretty sure he researched went over it with his people had meetings with everybody else he needed to have meetings with and went ahead and did what he had to do that man is a grown man he's his own entity he also is a billionaire you know what i'm saying so he has the luxury to make those decisions but i'm pretty sure them both of them men is looking at each other like hey you know it is what it is now back to why everybody's in a tizzy about things from the the hood brothers aspect as i call it from the hood aspect of it it seemed like jay-z was cooning it seemed like the master boys was like, yo, we got some little money for you. And he was like, hey, okay, I'll take it. You know, he's a billionaire, so he really don't need the money. So that's what I had to look at. Me not being a Jay-Z fan, I had to look at why is this dude partnering up? I mean, he has no vendetta against black people. So, you know, he does a lot of charitable work, which I'm going to get to in a second. So... He does a lot of things for the communities and the communities he's been in and uh, the communities he's been a part of and, you know, around here. And he's also 
a rap icon. You know what I'm saying? One of the top five or ten rappers alive. You know what I mean? So he got that accolade as well. But I was wondering, like, what is he doing here? What is his end game? What is the niche that he's trying to create? And him becoming a part owner of a team is pretty damn smart. It's pretty smart in the aspect of we be complaining all this time we don't have too many black head coaches. We don't have black uh, owners in football. We don't have, um, we're not thoroughly involved in football like we should be when we make up a majority of the football players that are dominant, good, and championship caliber. So, I was looking at it like, okay, putting that haterism aside, he is basically trying to open a door to where we can do that where you can get more black uh, coach head coaches, where you can get more black uh, owners in, where you can get more black anything that they need black and eyes in the NFL. You can get that if Jay-Z can come up in here and be like, hey, you know what? Let's do this, the third, the fourth, fifth, and sixth. And they're like, okay, we down with it. You got enough influence, so we believe enough in you for you to persuade them to come on over here and just try it for a second. You know, because as you know, in the last like five or ten years, the NFL them getting a bad rap with the concussion things and the, the rape things and the racism issues that's been going on. Uh, I think it was Jankowski, whatever his name was, the little super racist dude who played for the Raiders that broke my man eye um, in the locker room. If that was me, I'd have whooped dude to death. But, you know, stuff like that and the issues like that. I'm thinking he's trying to mend it up, like, because he don't need the money, truly. If anybody can't see that he don't need that money, then y'all just idiotic. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z don't need that damn money, so he's not doing it for a money thing. So I'm thinking he's doing it to try to boost up the, the relationship between the NFL and, you know, just the black culture, period. So as I was saying about the all the charitable stuff that he does, I got a few facts here, courtesy of my my guy, Lewis Clemens, man. Um, I'm going to get his channel, link his channel in um, the description. Y'all holler at my mans, man. Love that channel over there. Love his music. So y'all go holler at my guy, man. That's my bro, bro. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at these facts here, y'all. Let me let me go ahead and spit these little, a few little facts to you about what this man Jay-Z been doing since the early 2000s. All right. In 2006... He went ahead and gave 400, Jay-Z personally pledged 400,000 to a play pump international for the installation of water pumps in malnourished villages in South Africa. That was August 2006. November 2006, he performed a concert in New York City for his Water for Life program with the UN. The concert raised almost $300,000 for the play pump. So that's $700,000 in a month. Then, November, the same month, he hosted a play in a charity poker game, $403,862 in proceeds went to the Sean Carter Scholarship Foundation and the A-Rod Family Foundation. Now, that's just a few. That's just what he did back in, in 2006. Let's fast forward, let's say 10 years later. Now, I'm not 10 years later, sorry. Let's go four years later. He's still doing all of that. Recorded Stranded, Haiti Mon Amour with Bono, Rihanna, The Edge. They performed the song during a live charity telethon. Proceeds from the sale of other songs supported rebuilding in Haiti after 2010 earthquake. Now, he did that in January. Peep what he turned around and did in February. Donated a signed Gibson guitar to a charity auction for the artist for peace and justice foundation now people what he did in the same month jay-z and lebron james two kings charity conducted a counseling session for the boys and girls club of the greater dallas texas area at dallas texas area now that right there is enough for me to put any little haterism and anything else to the side and say you know what okay i dig i see what you're doing there you know, I, I, I dig it. I see what you're doing. And it's many other facts on here. Matter of fact, I'll, you know, I'll leave, um, I'll try to get the, the link in 
link the actual the facts and the, everything that I got right here in front of me. I try to find a way to link that, you know what I'm saying, in the video to, to show y'all, or y'all can just look it up, you know. But yeah, you, so I'm saying that if y'all is mad at Jay Z because you think he cooning or you just think that he's doing this for the money and publicity, it's Jay Z. He don't really need to, man. Once again, this is coming from somebody who is not a fan of Jay-Z. I don't care what nobody say. I don't like his music. I don't like him, period. The, everything about him, to me, is slime ballish. This is not. This is, what let, this is what makes me rethink my whole theory. But I still don't like him. But he's a good dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's still a good, he's still a, he did some good shit. He's been doing good shit, and he's doing good stuff right now. So... I cannot hate that. And anybody that does hate that, y'all just hateful, man. He I, he doing his thing. Cap ain't said nothing. Why y'all saying something? You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't agree with me, and y'all don't agree with none on this video, hit me in the comment section. I'm always active in the comment section. I have an app that lets me know when anybody comments. So we can talk about it all day long. But... I'm gonna leave y'all with that, man. And then just a little token from that. If Cap say something, then everybody else can jump on board and say something. If Cap don't say nothing, let it be, y'all. Just, just let it be. Let this man do his thing. Let's see what he got bubulated. Let's see what team he finna co on. And let's see what he gonna do. Hey, he already broke his way into the, the NBA. Ain't nobody say nothing about that, you know. He did a deal with two Russian dudes. You know what I'm saying? Get a little piece of the Brooklyn Nets, you know? Nobody said nothing about that now. I ain't going to the NFL now. People want to throw salts on him. I, listen, I don't like Jay Z once again, and I'm usually a hater of anything that he does. But I'm also a man that likes to do and help other people, and this right here is perfect. And this this right here just basically cuts half of my Jay Z disgust it just cuts it in half so now i just don't like his music because i'm not a jay-z music fan period fuck him and his music but him as a person good dude i would like to meet him one day and let him know like i don't like your music but you as a person you cool you know what i'm saying that's just me but if y'all enjoyed this video y'all go ahead and drop a like if y'all are not subscribed stop playing with yourself subscribe to the channel get more of this liveness every monday i come to y'all with this hotness if y'all got some opinions and stuff drop them in the comment section don't be scared anybody that made it to the last part of this video i got a word and i would like you to say the word because i'm going to have a contest soon the word of the night is prosper if you heard the last part of this video and you heard the secret word put it down there your name will get put in the drawing until next monday this your boy Top. Die side. Top die. I'm out. Peace.